During the late Queen Elizabeth's funeral, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle were forced to sit in the second row behind King Charles III and Prince William. The surprising development marks just the latest snub against Harry and Meghan since the Queen's passing on September the 8th, and it came on Monday as Her Majesty was officially laid to rest at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Although Harry entered Westminster Abbey alongside his brother, he was reportedly ordered to sit in the second row behind the new King and Queen consort, new Prince and Princess of Wales and their two children, Prince George and Prince Charlotte. Harry must be wondering what the actress has done to him. Harry was caught stealing a glance at his brother while the congregation made their way through an early hymn. As the organist led the crowd in song, an emotional Duke of Sussex looked over in his brother's direction. He watched his brother, wearing military uniform, sitting with his beautiful wife and two of their children. He must have been thinking to himself, William has everything, I've lost it all. Harry, your thoughts show in your face and are clear for all to see. Harry is once more morose, he never could hide his feelings. Moreover, body language expert Judy James was watching the funeral and noted how Harry kept looking over at William throughout the ceremony. During the service, he was dabbing tears as well as tending to look around a lot, and there were at least two occasions when his gaze that was more of a stare appeared directed at William, she said. His expression suggested sadness and possible regret. After the service came to an end and the brothers prepared to march behind the coffin once again, Harry put on his most emotional display. Standing in line, he watched as the brother he had once been so close to, the nephew he had adored playing with, and the sister-in-law he'd viewed as his own sister, filed in front of him with not one glance in his direction, Judy said. His face seemed to pucker into a more intense signal of grief and his lips sucked in again. Judy also noted that Harry couldn't conceal all the signs of tension between himself and his brother during the state funeral. Following the coffin beside his brother, there were some suppressed signals of tension, like the sucked in lips she continued. But when the coffin was being lowered, he did a repeat of the shoulder rolling gesture from the last walk. He appeared to not only be bracing or steeling himself for the service inside, but also mimicking the gesture the coffin bearers were doing in what looked like a desire to take a more active role himself. Besides, Harry is accused of not singing the national anthem during the Queen's funeral. Determined royal watchers, scrutinising every frame of state funeral for Queen Elizabeth II, spotted that Prince Harry appeared to not sing the national anthem out loud, unlike most other people in Westminster Abbey. Dozens of social media users commented on the apparent lapse in protocol, with one saying, what a petulant schoolboy Harry is. Looks like he purposely didn't sing the national anthem. Pathetic, God save the king. Another added, why is he so disrespectful? Harry not singing the national anthem has just made me lose the last bit of empathy I had for him. One Twitter user who clearly had little time for Harry railed, Prince Harry didn't sing the national anthem to his father total utter disrespect for his father, the nation, the crown and the monarch that pays him. Strip him of all his royal titles and funding. How much will Netflix want him then? I noticed this too, said another. He was also looking around, seeing what everybody else was doing. Megan just smirks all the time.